Welcome to This Week in the Index. I'm your host, Grayson Brulte. Overall, it was a good week in the markets for the week of August 28th. The Road to Autonomy Index returned 2.58%. The S&P 500 returned 1.89%. The NASDAQ 100 returned 3.19%. The Road to Autonomy Index outperformed the S&P 500 by 0.69%. The Road to Autonomy Index underperformed the NASDAQ 100 by 0.61%. The top performing stocks in the Road to Autonomy Index this week were Micron, which returned 10.47%, Deer, which returned 7.35%, Aptiv, which returned 7.05%. While these stocks perform well, they are just three of the 38 publicly traded companies that are components of the Road to Autonomy Index. News and opinion drives the market, and this week in autonomy, there were some developments. On Friday, September 1st, after the closing bell, S&P Dow Jones Indices announced that Deer, a Road to Autonomy Index component company, will be replacing Walgreens Boots Alliance in the S&P 100 on September 18th. Deer, in our opinion, is one of the foremost companies in autonomy. The company has made strategic acquisitions such as Blue River Technology, the inventors of Sea and Spray. Bear Flag Robotics, developers of autonomous tractors. The Deer technology stack today is impressive and it will only continue to improve as the company invests in the future. The more that Deer invests in autonomy and complementary service offerings, the more we expect to see Deer services revenue growing over the coming years. As the service revenues grow, we'll be watching to see if and when Deer breaks out services revenue in the future. The future of Deer, in our opinion, is a services business where farmers will subscribe to autonomous tractors and complementary services. Apple, a Road to Autonomy Index component company, reported record services revenue of $21.2 billion for their fiscal year 2023 third quarter. Apple currently has over 1 billion paid subscribers with services strength coming from emerging markets. Roughly a fourth of Apple's $81.8 billion and Q3 2023 revenue was generated from services. Services is a business that we expect Apple to grow over the next decade and accelerate when the company introduces the Apple car. The foundation for the Apple car to be the next great growth engine for Apple is actively being built today. While on typical Apple fashion, the company will not comment. We did, however, get some news from the United States Patent and Trademark Office this week. Apple was officially granted two patents related to the Apple car, commonly referred to as Project Titan. The first patent was for retractable input devices. The patent details how the steering wheel and the pedals could become retracted and flushed with interior surface when the vehicle goes into autonomous mode. In theory, when this happens, the driver would become a passenger and would no longer be responsible for the actions of the vehicle enabling them to engage with immersive content inside the vehicle. Enter the next patent that Apple was granted this week, in-vehicle video system. Apple's patent for an in-vehicle video system is based around augmented reality and having the windows of the vehicle come to life. The Apple car would use a variety of sensors to collect information about the vehicle's environment, including its location to display content. Sound familiar? I detail our vision for what this could look like in a video titled First Vision Pro, Next Apple Car on July 6th. In the video, I detail why Apple's Vision Pro isn't about the headset. It's about the future of the car as a platform for experiences that seamlessly integrates the physical and digital worlds. The Vision Pro, in our opinion, is merely just a starting line for what is to come with the Apple Car. Inside of the Apple Car, the Vision Pro experience will seamlessly blend into its surroundings until activated with a simple gesture or a Hey Siri. Our vision is close to what was detailed in the patent filing. As Apple progresses on their development of the Apple car and the in-vehicle experience, it is becoming very, very clear that Apple views the Apple car as the next catalyst of growth for the services business. When the Apple car becomes a reality, Apple will introduce a new Apple store and an OS, which we are calling Vision Car OS. Developers such as Airbnb will be able to build unique, one-of-a-kind immersive experiences on Vision Car OS. If and when this becomes a reality, and depending on how Apple plans to commercialize the Apple Car, either through a robo-taxi service, a subscription model, or a sales model, the current autonomous vehicle companies that are scaling 
Cruise, Waymo, and Motional, they will have to adapt and incorporate unique experiences into their vehicles. If they fail to adapt, consumers will gravitate towards the Apple car for the experience. The future of autonomous vehicles is not about the ride, it's about the experience. Autonomous vehicles will become a platform in the future. It's the software services that run on the platform that will become the big financial winners. In a July 2023 interview with Bloomberg, Kathy Wood, founder, CEO, and CIO of ARK Invest, said that she thinks for every $1 in chip hardware that NVIDIA sells, software companies will generate $8 billion in revenue because they will help businesses operate at a scale never before possible, amounting to a potential $14 trillion in revenue opportunity by the end of the decade, according to ARK Research. Miss Wood clearly sees opportunity in software, and so does Apple. After all, Apple gets a 30% commission for all apps and services sold to the Apple Store. Apple is a sleeper in autonomy today, and one day their autonomy plans will come to life and awake, just like Rip Van Winkle. And just the, like in the Washington Irving story, things will have changed when Apple comes to the market. The market for autonomy is rapidly changing and companies working on the economic models for delivering autonomous driving is changing. This week it was announced that Tesla, a road to autonomy index component company, lowered the price of their full self-driving software, more commonly known as FSD, by 20% to $12,000 in North America. No announcement was made to as why a price cut. We'll be watching it to see if the 20% price cut increases the take rate for FSD. Today, a Tesla Model 3 performance with FSD, a 315-mile range, costs $65,240, or roughly $803 a month with a $4,500 down payment. For $800 a month, consumers have a lot of choices in terms of vehicles they can lease. The Polestar 2 long-range dual motor with drive pilot, Polestar's version of SAE Level 2 hands-free Highway driving and 276 miles of range now costs $54,300, or roughly $485 a month with a $4,500 down payment. That is a savings of $318 a month, or $11,448 over the course of a three-year lease. The difference in cost of the three-year lease is FSD. Is SFD worth it? That is ultimately for consumers to decide. While consumers decide, Polestar is actively working on improving their self-driving capabilities. The company recently announced an agreement with Mobileye where the company will provide its chauffeur technology to Polestar. Mobileye chauffeur technology uses a combination of LiDAR, radar, camera, and software to enable eyes off, hands off driving under certain conditions. Mobileye is planning on delivering their chauffeur system to Polestar for under $6,000 a unit. If Polestar were to add a 20% margin to chauffeur, consumers would end up paying $7,200 for the system. A potential savings of $4,800 as compared to Tesla's FSD. Is the system as good as FSD? That is up for debate. But what is clear is that the market for personally owned autonomous vehicles is beginning to emerge. Who ultimately wins this market has yet to be determined. We are bullish on this emerging market as we believe that consumers will look to augment robo-taxis with personally owned autonomous vehicles that are highly customizable with a digital services layer. When this happens, the economy will benefit as new businesses will be created and companies will expand hiring. New entrepreneurs will turn their business ideas into world-class ventures and world-class companies. Exciting times are ahead and the global economy will benefit from the emerging autonomous vehicle market. Autonomy is good for the economy. Autonomy is coming. Autonomous vehicles and autonomous trucks will help to usher in the autonomy economy. Today, we are merely at the starting line for what is to come with autonomy and its economic impact. In the future, autonomy will be one of the world's largest industries in the world. Autonomy is a business and there's an index to track its performance. The autonomy economy is coming. Follow the Road to Autonomy Index, ticker autonomy on your favorite finance app. Again, the ticker's autonomy, A-U-T-O-N-O-M-Y. Be sure to join us again next Sunday for the latest installment of the Road to Autonomy's This Week in the Index. The future is bright. The future is autonomous. The future is in autonomous vehicle experiences.